Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of GG. So as you can see in front of me, this is a headline about Nicki Minaj. She takes shots at Cardi B. She has built her entire career of sympathy and payola. <laughs> it's only been four days since Nicki Minaj last episode of Queen Radio, but a lot has been a lot has transpired. The Barbie Tings rapper attended a number of New York Fashion Week events, including one fateful Harper's Bazaar party that ended with Cardi B trying to fight her. And now an infamous red shoe being thrown. <laughs> so essentially Cardi B and uh, Nicki Minaj were on the red carpet. Cardi B was trying to approach her and Nicki Minaj just didn't want any of it and kind of just stayed away sort of thing, tried to like stay to the sidelines. And Cardi B was fully going for her. And it's now come out as well that uh, one of Nicki Minaj's security guards has elbowed Cardi B in the head. And that's why she got that bump on her head. So, you know, for someone who makes out she's the queen and all this stuff and she's going at Cardi B, that's a bit of a dick move to get your security to like elbow her in the head. I'm sure she didn't tell them to do that, but the fact that someone has done that and I've like seen stuff with Nicki Minaj online like saying, you know, about that incident. So, I don't know, this whole music industry stuff is just getting out of hand. But anyways, Things have been quiet on Nikki's end since the accident, despite Cardi's Instagram post about the altercation, but now she's using Queen Radio to speak up. The reason why she's using Queen Radio is because she was using that as a platform to promote her album. Also, her album is called Queen, so it does make sense. And, you know, it'll get a lot of views and ratings because of obviously the fiasco that's going on at the moment. Nicki Minaj started off by calling 6 9 who she collaborated with on Fifi before ho before hopping off the show. 6 9 made a point about how people can't compare who been in the game 10 years plus to someone who's just started their career seamlessly referring to compassion between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Nicki then plays a recording of Cardi from a video interview with Fader in the video Cardi says Nothing is off limits when it comes to feuding with people, not even their kids. This is the video. The other night I had to go through something so mortifying, she said, going to refer to her altercation with Cardi B as a disgusting commotion. 6 9 is really my fucking baby and I don't give a fuck what any of y'all say Nikki on Queen Radio to be honest she's gonna say that because they have a song together and it's doing quite well in the charts and this is one thing that makes me laugh with like the rap industry especially in America it just seems so fake and put on how people will pretend to be your friend and the next minute stab you in the back or to get a record or to get a sale or to get the money <laughs> But still, uh, Nicki Minaj is finally speaking on an instant with Cardi. The way these upper echelons people passed by looking at this disgusting emotion, I was mortified how we and I are going to use we loosely made ourselves look was mortified. I would never talk about anyone's child or anyone's parenting if she continued. And it's so crazy to me that people always need to make honor for the bad guy. I'm not a clown. That's clown shit. Nikki said Cardi's claims that she talked negatively about culture, Cardi's parenting, or is stopping her back is completely false. You knew that when the footage came out, you would look dumb, she said, explaining why Cardi and her team would make up the accusation. I didn't f even feel the need to defend myself that night. She has built her career of sympathy and pie After a music break, Nikki brought a woman who claims Cardi B her dad, her dead child, a monkey on Instagram. That's disgusting. So Nikki, Nikki brought a woman who claimed Cardi B called her dead child a monkey on Instagram. She also referred, she also referenced the two women who are reportedly planning to sue Cardi B for allegedly ordering a physical attack on them. Nikki then called Cardi out on her former use of the word roaches to refer to darker skinned black women. The Lord gave you a blessing with a bundle of joy and the only thing you the only thing on your mind was an attack was to attack people and stop their backs. Nikki said after suggesting Cardi might have post traumatic stress, who are you angry at, sweetheart? So after more than an hour into a show, Nikki revealed her hype Williams 
directed Barbie Dreams video would be dropping later on Monday. She was also awarded 50 Cent Little Uzi Vert and 6 9 King of the Week for sticking by her and standing up for her during all this drama. So if you don't know, Nicki Minaj has a radio station that she's currently got at the moment and anyone who isn't on her side, she's basically crashing all over the radio. Anyways, she also spoke on Drake and Meek Mill's reunion over the weekend and squashing their beef. I know for a fucking fact that if I had been weighing the, weighing heavily on both of these niggas, she said, I'm happy and proud. At some point in the show, Nikki brought in her friend Ra Ali, who allegedly put hands on Cardi B during the New York Fashion Week altercation, and her friend Brooke. Then it was time for Nikki's notorious award, Cocksucker of the Day. She gave it to Mark Knight, cartoonist who drew a problematic image of Serena Williams following her new match on Saturday. Oh, God. Last month, Nikki switched up the schedule for her North America tour. She'll be touring with Future in Europe, but will now be doing US and Canada in May 2019 without the Atlanta rapper. So guys, let me know what you think about this whole situation. Also as well, uh, what do you think about the whole Serena Williams um, saying to the Empire, you know, you're being sexist. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this sort of content, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll continue to make videos like this. Thank you for watching that episode of GNG News and I will catch up with you all very, very soon in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.